Oh, this is one of the best times of the year for me. This is where I get all my mulch from. This is what makes, I don't put any fertilizer out there. And what this does, it kills all the stuff I don't want to grow. My name is Joe Fleet and I live in Rotorua. Uh, during my lifetime I've been into everything. I've done everything. I'm retired now and uh, in my retirement I really needed a hobby. And uh, what can I do? And I, I love the bush. So I thought, oh, I found myself a, 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 an overgrown gully and there's a creek flowing, a little creek flew, flowing through it. And it's quite a dirty gully. So I approached the owners and uh, they said, yeah, OK. I started to clear and plant a few trees and I started to learn how to do cuttings, how to do lots of things. Well, it was all blackberry. So I would lightly spray the blackberry. So even though it seems a lot of work, the rewards are marvellous. Amazing the rewards you'll get within, say, two years. You'll see it all happening in front of you. You plant all over the place, beginning to come up all over. It just grow because of given the opportunity. And now I have something like about 70 species in this area. And most are native. Some introduced mainly as nurse crop. A nurse crop is, uh, is well, as it, as it suggests, it, it nurses the plants beneath it. Would you believe what my best nurse crop is? Broom. I tell you, it's broom. Here it is right here. This here is perfect nurse crop. I'm always under pressure from my grandchildren uh, to answer their many questions. So it, it, it really makes me learn more than I ever knew before. I want to take them out and so they can learn a little bit more about um, what happens within a forest. Why do we all take all our leaves from home out and tip them under trees? Why do we do all this? When you've got grasslands, streams become narrower and narrower and narrower. Grass grows over. When there's a forest, the stream widens itself out. You get more rapids, you get more, a, a better flow. This is what I'm noticing now in, in the 18 years I've been doing this. My grandchildren come out here and we'll come out and we'll watch the chaffinches picking the mayflies out of the air coming off the water. They won't see it. They might see that with the David Attenborough, but I reckon David Attenborough and me have seen some wonderful things in our lifetimes. This stream's starting to widen now as more light's getting in. It'll keep on falling down, falling down and become a wide, rapid stream. And what it does, all those stones are exposed there and the aquatic insect under there is terrific. Mayflies, caddis, so the stream's quite healthy. There's so many rewards for everybody, your families and friends that come, they love to go walk around these places. We need to look after our land, we need to leave something for our children, our grandchildren. We really need to be serious about this. This is what I mean by right, period and right, looking after the land, looking after it. It's so important. This is what you can achieve. For me, this whole project has been one of learning. It's been one of glory. It's been everything. You know, when you, when you do these sorts of projects, you, you know, you, you get your high and your lows. But I could see what could be, what could be achieved here. I could really see this. Well, what I want to do now is get you to do what I've done because it's so, so rewarding. I'd love it if you all come along and take over and I can stand back and look and say, go for it gang, do it. It's so rewarding. If you need any more assistance or help or advice, just contact your nearest land management officer from the Bay of Plenty Regional Council.